Let's read the problem one more time. Your friend has a dollar fifteen in quarters, dimes, and nickels in his pocket. He has exactly nine coins, and there are twice as many nickels as dimes. We're going to really look at that statement. He will give you the coins if you can tell him how many of each coin is in his pocket. We know that he has twice as many nickels as dimes. We can represent this relationship algebraically. N equals to 2D. Now at first you might think, that's not, that's kind of backwards, is it? But let's think about it. He has twice as many nickels as dimes. So what does he have more of? He has, does he have more nickels or does he have more dimes? He has more nickels. Matter of fact, you can get the amount of nickels by taking the amount of dimes and multiplying by two. If you double the dip, the uh, the uh, dimes, you'll get the amount of nickels. So a uh, way to think about it is like, if he had three dimes, then he would have six nickels because you would multiply the three by two. And so that's one way to think about it. So N is equal to two times dimes. He has twice as many uh, nickels as dimes. I recognize this a little counterintuitive at first, but we call that a relationship equation, right? So we have written three equations. We are representing this problem with a system. We'll call it a system of three equations and three unknowns. You need three equations solved at the same time simultaneously in order to uh, in order to solve this problem. So here are the three equations. So we got our total, we got our a total amount, we have our amount equation, and we have our value equation, and we have our relationship uh, equation. And all this makes a three by three system of linear equations. In algebra one, you study two by two uh, equations. In algebra two, we study three by threes.